two very wonderful people today that both have a direct connection to Marilyn Monroe in different ways. Um, and the first one is a woman who got her start. If you won't believe it when you see her, way back when, <laughs> at the age of four, I think, was your first time that you appeared. Uh, and she was in Little Rascals, she'd been on the Andy Griffith Show, The Lauren Ranger, and I believe, wasn't it Andy, Eddie Canner that gave her her first start? So that's quite a prestigious background, I would say. And uh, her connection to us today probably is in the fact that there's always been this rumor that somehow Marilyn Monroe was the sort of model for Tinkerbell in Peter Pan. And I think it's even in books and stuff, but I, I do believe that that's incorrect, because we have with us today the actual <laughs> Tinkerbell. Yeah. So I may introduce to you Margaret Carey. Yeah. I'm going to, we're going to watch a little video in a minute. Yeah. I'm just, I'm thrilled to be here because like you, Marilyn has given me such a delight all of my life. And I did work with her, and there's a story in my book about it, and uh, I took pictures of her, and she took pictures of me, and I will tell you that story. But first of all, I'm going to tell you, since you did a lovely introduction, a little bit about me. And I brought posters to show Aww. you. Aww. Yes. I haven't changed a bit. I know. Oh, you love the thing. I caused the depression. <laughs> I was born in 1929, and everything went right down the hill. <laughs> My mother uh, passed away, and as things were happening then to everybody, um, our family scattered, and I was adopted by a couple who were much older, uh, about be my grandparents, really, and being that they were born and um, people had to make money and so on, they decided I was cute as could be, <laughs> and Shirley Temple was doing all right, yeah. so therefore, let's put her to work. Yeah. And I went to work when I was four in a, in a movie at Warner Brothers called Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh. Oh. I played a fairy. I think there is a theme here of some. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, on top of that, <laughs> Stay. <laughs> I was also in our gang. Look at that. Oh, wow. And oh, cool. I was one of the blurs. Mm. They would uh, call me in uh, and say, You run over there and smile. You run over there and sit down. You run over there and whatever you're going to do, kind of thing. And I was in eight of these. Wow. In, my, in my life, and at the same time, I was learning tap dancing. I'm going to set that right here. There are only four of us left. I will have my, the reason I asked about the birthday was, um, my birthday is in May, and I will have completed my 90th year, 86 of those years in show business. So. Oh. 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 Travel. Um, I'm headed for Chicago next weekend to do a celebrity show, and I still tap dance on stage. Believe it or not, and everybody goes, "Go oh, get help for her." <laughs> uh, then I, I didn't like movies that much. I really, really didn't. They're very dull. Uh, it's dark in the sound stages. You get two two minutes of film on uh, two minutes of of a camera on that you like, and you sit there the whole day, and when you're a little kid, I don't know whether you know this or not, um, you don't talk. You whisper the whole day, and that horrible bell would ring, and it's, and you waited for, print it, so you could start to whisper again. It was, a, it was odd, <laughs> very, very odd. And I went to a girl's school, which it turned out I went to a school with Sharon and Diane Disney. Ah, oh, yeah. And the reason I went to a girl's school was I could get a permit to get out and work. You couldn't get it from the uh, public school. Very, very difficult. Yeah. Then I found what I loved. It was television. And I did the first family sitcom for ABC Network with Charlie Ruggles. Okay. They're still showing it, believe it or not, on Hulu, and I'm wow. pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> it was kinescope, so I never saw them until 60 years oh, later. Oh, wow. And I thought, I wish I'd known I 
was that good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Margaret, what did you play in that? We'll set that there. Now, we were talking about Eddie Cannon. At the same time, uh, I got a call uh, to go and see Mr. Cantor. I was a, a solo dancer, uh, an actress, but mostly dancing. And this gives you a little idea oh, wow. of, oh, great. of the kind of dancing that I did, tap dancing. As I say, I still do. I love oh, it. Wow. And oh, it was Eddie Cantor who changed my name oh, wow. to Margaret Carey. I tell you a little side thing, really, really quick. How they don't change names anymore. They let all yeah. of the fans try to come out with these names. But when I was in the business, you had to change your name and make it so anyone could remember it. So Mr. Kander, whose original name was Isidore Etwist, uh, said, "You don't, you don't want your name to be uh, Peggy Lynch anymore." And I said, "Yes, Mr. Kander." And he said, do you like your first name? Yes, Mr. Kander. And he said, um, uh, well, I like Norman Carey. And I said, in my mind, who is Norman Carey? And he said, why can't I have Peggy? He said, I'm talking to Peggy Wood. I have no idea who Peggy Wood is. But Mr. Kander is standing there talking to me, right? So he said, I like Norman Carey, Carey's last name. And I, we'll make you Margaret Carey. Yeah. And that's how I switched over to Margaret Carey, yeah. just like that. And I thought it was so nice of him. And here's the sidebar. Do you remember a fellow named John Carey, who mm -hmm. was secretary of... Yeah. Well, yeah. his great-grandfather changed their name from a Jewish Baltic name to Carey because of County Carey, Ireland. Uh -huh. And Norman Carey, who Mr. Tanner liked so much, uh, he changed his name from a German name during World War I into Kerry because of County Kerry, Ireland. When I found my family after 50 years, I found out that they came from County Kerry, Ireland. Oh, yes. See, I mean, it all yeah, serendipitous right comes yeah. together. <laughs> At the meantime, I was working on ABC. I got a call. Uh, my agent said, can you get over and do an interview? Um, I'm just for, there you go. We can see you there. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that, um, this, um, they're interviewing for a three and a half inch sprite who doesn't talk. And I said, ah, oh, well, I don't know. I'm working on the big on this show at Fox. And they said, it's at Disney. I said, Disney, I will be there. No matter what. If I have to drag my leg, I will be there. And that's how we all felt. That's how we all felt if you could work at Disney. It was that wonderful and magical. And so I got over there, and Mark Davis was there, and in a minute I'm going to just tell you the first line, and then I'm going to show you the work that I did, okay? This genius, Mark Davis, invites me in. He is one of the nine old men of Disney. Such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. And all he had in the James M. Berry book to go on for, for Tinkerbell was, and I'll do it in just a moment, because she had never been seen on the stage. She was always a pinpoint of light. All he had to do and figure out what she looked like, this iconic character that he did, was this. And I will do it to show you how brilliant I am. I will do it in, a, a, in a, an accent. You all remember the, the nursery, the scene where the three children had gone to sleep in Peter Pan, and the darlings had just left for the night, and the little night lights are burning beautifully. And it, but in a moment, there was another light in the room. It flashed about so quickly, it went into every drawer and every pocket in the room, looking for Peter's shadow. And as it settled, you could see it was not a light. It was a fairy, no larger than your hand, and still growing, a girl named Tinkerbell, who was clothed in a skeletal leaf cut low and square, which showed her figure <laughs> to best advantage. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What a genius. He took that and took her into, well, she is still um, the top icon of Disney. Mm. 
and of course I had somebody to do with it, and we're going to show you. I hope this all works. You know, electronically, but it doesn't work.